Hi and welcome to No War Zone. The upcoming general election is dominating the news these days, a trend that looks set to continue right up until the 8th of April. Candidates are campaigning fiercely and, as usual, making promises to their district electorates in the hopes of getting the most votes. We spoke to a few of them to find out what they propose to bring to the people if they should get elected to Parliament. Uh, actually speaking, I have a vision for the Colombo. Colombo district is a highly populated area. And especially when you take Colombo, there is thousands and thousands of people coming into Colombo daily for employment, for hospital, various other activities they come to. So it's a destination for transit, up and down. So we have to develop Colombo. My only theme that I've taken at this election is Education for all. We proudly talk of Colombo, but Colombo stinks. Colombo is dirty. So we have to have a very good environment for people to live. If you take the garden, tenement garden, you have the drains, you have the drainage. All these have to be cleaned and kept up to date with all concrete done, no dengue, all that. So we have to protect it. Third is a clean city free of garbage and a de dengue free Colombo. These are the things that I have selected for the six years that I am going to be in Parliament. My vision on uh, this move that we are making is to change the old system and to make a difference in uh, the political system. Uh, we have been able to experience the old-fashioned politics in the entire country but uh, my vision is to change that and to see that uh, the voters and the people who we represent in parliament uh, are safeguarded and uh, our main view our main point will be uh, to work with them very closely because uh, as everyone knows there is a bad experience where you find most of the people, once they are elected, they bring in security, they bring in guards and they try and keep their voters, their people away from them. So my main aim is to change that system and to work closely with my voters and with all the people in the candidacy. The agenda as far as, agenda as far as parties are concerned, the leading parties are concerned, they can have agendas because they must have an economic plan, they must have uh, various sort of plans, health, health, health plans, uh, things like that. But as far as uh, we are concerned, we are only, we are, represent, we are going to represent only the minority people. So the, our main agenda is nearly more than 90% uh, of the Tamil population is living in the slums. So we have to develop their uh, living conditions, economic conditions. So that is the main motive. Right now, there are only two Tamils we are contesting in the UNP, UNP ticket, UNF ticket that is the, in the elephant symbol. We are doing politics, we are with the people, we raise our voice whenever they are in trouble. Uh, so it is the duty of every Tamil to vote and ensure because uh, there are nearly one and a half packs of Tamil votes. If everybody is voting without fail, Definitely three members can come, or at least two can definitely come. But they must vote without fail, understanding their responsibility as a responsible citizen to vote. My uh, vision for 2000 actually, probably 15, by the 2015, to make Sri Lanka a very developed country. And uh, for, the, for us to have about 4%, uh, 5% unemployment rate, to make it uh, actually even less than that if possible and to develop this country and get aid from abroad, from the Western world, from to get a lot of aid and at a very low interest rate, probably about 1%, not like the present government which are getting loans for about 7% or 6%. And then get about $10 billion coming into this country, develop the infrastructure. While doing that, the social services, looking after the free hospital services, free health services, free education. And to give that also, look after that also aspect also. You can't just develop the country and forget that social aspect. The social development, social services, welfare services must be taken care of. The last 60 years of our political history, the people got various, a lot of 
promises from major political parties. But after the elections, what we have experienced was the, all the policy, all the uh, uh, these promises uh, forgotten and the people were cheated. So the Democratic National Alliance, this, this is only uh, two weeks age, the new political alliance. So we based on not the on, not on the promises but the five principles. They are the well governance, the democracy and the human rights, then the economic development, uh, is, uh, uh, national harmony, and this uh, good foreign policy to the country. The DNA is a political alliance, not a party. So all the good politicians who uh, try to build the country, who protect the people, they are coming to us. They they are uh, doing their political activities within this DNA. So that's why we believe that we can uh, make uh, good change, real change in the country.